This video first shows the grid's built-in UI that allows you to sort group rows by summary values. You'll then see how to disable this UI if needed and how you can sort group rows in code. Let's start with the grid control, already grouped against the category column. By default, group rows are automatically sorted in alphabetical order, where the beverages group row is followed by condiments, then by confections, and so on. In the form load event handler, create a group summary that calculates the maximum value in the order sum column. The summary values will be displayed in group rows. And run the application. Group rows display the maximum values of the order sum column within each group. Let's right click the category column header, select the sort by summary item, and then sort ascending. As a result, group rows are now sorted in ascending order based on their summary values. A special glyph displayed within the grouping column indicates the current sort order. In the same manner, you can reverse the sort order. To remove group row sorting, right click the category column header and select Clear Summary Sorting. Select the grid view, expand its options menu property, and disable the Show Group Sort Summary Items option. And run the application and right click the category columns header. Now the context menu that appears doesn't contain the sort by summary item. Close the application again and return to the form load event handler. Obtain the first grouping column from the view's sort info collection. Now to sort group rows in code, create a new group summary sort info object. Use the summary item, target column, and required sort order as parameters. Finally, clear the group summary sort info collection and add the created object to it using the clear and add range method. Let's run the application to see the result. Group rows are already sorted by summary values in ascending order.